was therapy. It was fine. I mean, I still don't have any of my memories, if that's what you're wondering. Paul, these things take time. Stephanie's right. I know on my stories, whenever one of the characters gets amnesia, they always regain their memory over time. Well, Mom, my life is not some silly soap opera, okay? I don't know if I'm actually going to get these memories back, and I am starting to think that that's just fine. What's that supposed to mean? It means that if I'm okay with not getting my memories back, you need to be okay with that too. Paul, please don't snap at your mother. She's only trying to help. I'm sorry. It's just you both are expecting me to become someone that I don't want to be anymore. What if I like the idea of starting from scratch and not remembering every bad thing that happened in my past? But what about the good times? Don't you want to remember those? I think that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. I mean, if it means I don't have any baggage or drama. But how will you know where you're going if you don't know where you've been? Profound. I know that I'm going to go lie down. I'll see you. He doesn't mean to snap at you. Stephanie, with all due respect, please do not talk to me about what my son does or does not mean. We are here in this situation because of you. Whether intentional or not, it was your silly California hippy-dippy health kick that put my son in the hospital in the first place. I don't know how many times I have to tell you how sorry I am. Paul is my best friend. I have, I have felt the guilt of this mistake since the moment we found out what happened. But it was just that, okay? It was a mistake, an accident. I don't know how many times I have to apologize to you. It will never be enough. Know that. You better pray he regains his memory. Every day. Well, this is the last of my stuff. Thank you again, Stephanie, for letting me stay here. And more importantly, thank you for letting my mom stay here as well. I'm just sorry this became so much. Please don't apologize. That's what best friends are for. And I will be over to your place with Doyle soon. I mean, that's just the thing, Mom. Part of me moving out is to get away from the past. Stop, Paul, just something. stop it, okay? Stop it right there. I am so sick of hearing you say that. You may have forgotten who you are, but rest assured, I have not. You are my son. You are my pride and joy, who I love more than anything in the world, and no memory loss is ever going to take that away. I have loved you from the moment you were born. I have believed in you and all of your dreams. And I've been there when you needed a, a shoulder to cry on. I've given you my ears to listen to your hopes. And most importantly, I have held my love for you in my heart as only a mother could. And I raised you to be a good and decent man. So, while you may not remember who you are, I do. And I know that one day you will again. So please do not walk out that door and expect me to stop loving you or give up on you or forget about you. Because, Paul, that will not happen. Okay. Then just give Doyle and I some time to adjust, and I will let you know as soon as you can come over. That's all I'm asking. Okay. Bye. <laughs> He's going to remember. I know he will. He's my son. Don't you have some puppy business to take care of? Have you heard from Paul? No. He just said there was someone he needed to see before the ceremony. But everyone he knows is here. Is it just me? Or does Paul's therapist look familiar? That's so weird. I was thinking the same thing. I do mm. feel like I've seen her before. But maybe she just has one of those faces. Oh my gosh, I'm here, I'm here. Sorry, I'm late, sorry. Oh. Mm. Good to see you. Okay, show of hands, who's excited to get married today? <laughs> <laughs> you look great. You really do. Let's get you married. All right, let's do this. <laughs> None of this is real. My love for you, 
this has all been a plot to destroy you and your family, and I'm so sorry. Destroy my family? Who talks like that? Are you insane? None of my children are insane. Mother. No, it's okay. The entire truth is going to be made public anyway. You're Doyle's mother? Yes, that's right. And Doyle was right. He's never loved you. In fact, neither of my boys ever loved you. What? Stop it right now! Oh, well, look whose memories have finally returned. It's funny, isn't it? You're not the only one, Paul, who's had a memory lapse. Should I be the one to fill in the blanks for him? Or do you want that honor, Mo? I did what I had to do to protect my son. I don't understand why you're still living here. Your old room is available at Stephanie's. Do you think you could stop trying to control my life for one second? I simply think it would be better for your mental health if you weren't living in your dead fiance's apartment. Enough, okay? I am a grown man and I can live wherever I want to live. Besides, I don't care what you say about Doyle, regardless of whatever this master plan was. I loved him, and deep down, I know he loved me too. Oh, honey, you know that is not true. How do you know? Because Tamara and Doyle had only one intention. To hurt you. To hurt us. What don't you understand about that? What I don't understand is that it has been weeks since my own red wedding, and you still haven't even told me what you did to Tamara. Oh, yeah, can we just let the past be that? She's gone! And Doyle is dead. Doyle is dead, and I have zero answers as to why any of this happened. I wish I could provide you answers. I really do. You could start by telling me how you know Tamara and what you did to her other son. <sighs> okay. What I'm about to tell you happened a while back. You and I have grown so much in our mother-son relationship since then, and I'm not sure that rehashing all of this is really going to help us in the long run. Please, just tell me. It has to do with Kyle. Kyle? My high school boyfriend? Yes. What does he have to do with any of this? Paul, I wish I could take it back. I really do. I could see all of the warning signs, and you were too in love with Kyle to see he was going to take you away from me. What did you do? I could see he was starting to become the most important person in your life over me, and I started to get this feeling of jealousy like I've never experienced before. And I knew that if your relationship with Kyle continued, I would eventually lose you. So I did what any mother in my stories would have done to protect her son. I had Kyle removed. You, what? Kyle was Tamara's other son and you had him murdered? No, not Paul, no. I'm your mother, not a monster. I had him taken to a facility and held there, away from you. It was there I heard he took his life. But I didn't have anything to do with his death. You have to believe me. What? So you had Kyle kidnapped and then he, he died? Yeah, well, yeah, but, but you know, that wasn't part of the plan. All I could see was that he was eventually going to hurt you. And as your mother, I wanted to protect you. I did this for you. But don't you understand that Kyle up and vanishing did hurt me? Do you remember the depths of my depression when I found out that he left without even saying goodbye? Yeah, and don't you remember how I was there for you through all of it? And that's when our relationship became what it is today. I don't understand how you can see yourself as the hero in this story. The, the amount of hurt that I felt because of all of this, I didn't think I was going to be able to fall in love again until, until I met Doyle. But that wasn't real love! What I felt for him was. And now he's gone, and it's all because of you again. Well, guess what, Mom? I'm going to get through this heartbreak without you this time. I think that it's time that you go back home. And I don't mean back to Stephanie's. I think it's time that you leave LA. You don't mean that. I am serious. I want nothing to do with you right now. By the time I get back, I want you out of my house. I want you packed up and moved out of Stephanie's. Don't bother reaching out because as of right now, I have no mother. Please don't say that, Paul. <laughs> <laughs>